Marquez so effective, especially in the first few innings there? He was really effective here last year. If you've watched him pitch over the time, he can be very effective. He can two-seam the fastball 92, 93, and go grab 97. The curveball is 20 miles an hour slower than his top-end fastball. And then he throws a couple balls. He change up once in a while. Cut a fastball. But the two-seam, four-seam fastball, the hook, tough to hit. He stayed out of the middle of the plate. Two strikes, worked ahead in the count. Steven with curveball more often maybe or is it a little sharper or anything? No, he throws a curveball about once every four pitches to both sides. It's a good pitch for him, especially deep in counts. He had a lot of conviction through a deep in counts today. Um, I mean he showed really good command um, of of the pitches that he used tonight. Very aggressive in straight time. Steven was ahead of story. He was ahead of a couple other guys that he walked. Did you feel like that not being able to put somebody away for a strikeout when you need one occasionally was was the issue there? Absolutely. The, the command was inconsistent overall. Some better sequences in the second and third, but started off inconsistent. First hitter of the game dug himself a little bit of a hole, and he had to come in over the plate. I had a whack it. Uh, and the sequence, the story, you know, it's a slider, middle of the plate. The slider played better left-handers tonight than right-handers. Um, the fastball command, just, it wasn't there, the efficiency we needed to be there for him to be competitive. Um, at the same time, you know, as he continues to grow and learn, there's 12 times it's three pitches or less, so he gets some guys. But the overall body, body of work, uh, it was left themselves some openings that a good hitting team took advantage of. Did you hit the ground ball right before the home run had a chance to be stopped? It went up the middle? You know what? Uh, I asked Joey after the play, so I'm not so sure. I don't have time to, to run up and watch the replay. Maybe I don't get as many looks at it as you do. And I haven't looked at it yet. So I, I don't know about that. Um, I just know we need to make better pitches throughout the course of the game to keep off six times off the plate. Good stuff from Tyler in that first inning. You managed to get out of that? Well, to get out of it, it's good. Uh, we're going to throw more strikes. It's two out of eight first pitch strikes. It's four three ball counts. Um, they're going to, you know, they're the fastball. Uh, the combination, the curveball, the changeup probably needs to find its way into the mix at times, but it's hard when um, when you're behind in counts and working. But I'm trying to get him touches within every five day window. You don't want to sit down there and not pitch. It was five days ago that he pitched, got an opportunity to pitch two innings again today. So we'll continue to work. Um, continue to work. It's 38 pitches in two innings. You'd like to see a little more pitch efficiency as well. There's just work to be done there. Another strong throw from. Dickerson out in left field. I assume you're still pleased with how he's playing left. You assume that I'm pleased? He's, he's played outstanding defense. Um, there's been plays to be made, he's made them. Sliding catches, um, you know, he, when he gets to the ball, he can sit in the cutoff, man, he's been smart, good decisions. Um, he's had to go get a couple balls, so he's playing well both sides.